Hi! You have probably noticed that sometimes when you are searching for information online, you get too many or too few results. Today I'm going to show you how to use some common strategies to broaden and to narrow your search results online. Let's take a look at the research question that I am working on for class to see what I'm talking about. How does television advertising affect kids' consumption of junk food? Alright, I'm going to choose one of the many online databases available and start my search for information. Always remember, though the search screens may look different, the search strategies you will learn today will work in all of them, including Google and other search engines. So I'm going to start my search by entering my research question in the search box. Alright, don't panic. Databases work best when you enter precise keywords. Remember, one idea per box. Let's go back to my topic and find the keywords. I'm going to try the keywords junk food. I put quotes around those words to tell the database to keep the words together in the search. I guess I know something was written on my topic. Unlike Google, not all databases show the most relevant results first, so that's quite a few to go through. Good thing I've learned some search strategies to help me narrow and broaden my search. Let me share them with you. I'm going to show you how to combine keywords, use broader and narrower keywords, and use limiters in subject terms. Back to my search. I'm going to enter multiple keywords from my research question to narrow my results. Notice that I'm connecting my terms with AND to tell the database that I want results that contain all of my keywords. AND is a Boolean operator. No, not that kind of Boolean. As I search, I'm always paying attention to my search results to find new keywords to try out. I'm looking for broader terms like food instead of junk food, narrower terms like television advertising instead of advertising, and related terms or synonyms like children instead of kids. Now my search is getting somewhere. I have a solid list of results with articles I think I can use, but I'm not quite done yet. Many databases suggest terms related to your topic that you can use to broaden or narrow your results. Suggested terms are sometimes called subject or thesaurus terms, but any way you call them, they are key to getting the best results. Many databases also have a list of limiters to the side of the search results. I can use these limiters to narrow my results. I can choose full text to get articles I can read right now, date to find articles written during a specific time, or type of article like magazine, scholarly journal, or newspaper. Alright, you can see that I have come a long way from my first search, and with all my strategies in full force, I now have a good sized list of results with articles that are relevant to my topic. Let's review. I started by combining keywords for my research question using the AND Boolean operator. Then I expanded my list of keywords with broader, narrower, and related terms. Then I let the database help me by using suggested subject terms and limiters like date and type of article. Using the search strategies that you just learned today can help you to broaden and narrow your, re your search results to get the articles that are most relevant to your topic, no matter where you're searching. Remember, if you have questions or need help, get in touch with a librarian.